go to fancy restaurants a lot. Like I, I cook for myself mostly. Um, I cook for me, I cook for my lady. I'm in a very good relationship. Um, and I'm glad, I'm glad I have her for many reasons. But one of the most important reasons I'm glad I have her is because it would suck to be single in New York. Because single women up here are fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn yes, I'm talking about you <laughs> To describe, like a lot of these women, I talk to I talk to women up here a lot, and like they want to be taken, but not like taken at a bar. Like I'm sorry, I can't accept your second drink, creepy guy. I have a boyfriend. Like they don't want to be taken in that regard. They want to be like white woman in Europe just got kidnapped. Their dad is Liam Neeson. Taken. <laughs> they want to be taken. It doesn't make sense. I was at a dinner with some friends, and there was this girl, and there was this lady there, she was a friend of a friend, and she was talking about how she just met a new guy. She was talking about it, and so she said she was on the train here in New York, <clears throat> headphones in her ear, on her way to work, and she could feel somebody staring at <laughs> the side of her head. She could feel it. You know that feeling where you just know somebody's like looking at your brain, through your scalp? Feel it. And she so she looked over and she saw a guy, scraggly beard, just staring at her. <laughs> this is unblinking stare. So she played that game. She like looked over and like looked away. <laughs> and so she got off. She got off the train. Homeboy followed her off the train, onto the platform, out on the sidewalk, onto the street and somehow got her number. <laughs> and so when she told the story, I shot my hand up in the air like this. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, did he uh, rob you of your phone and then call himself so that he could get your number? Is this your tale of harrowing escape and you're gonna tell us how, how you made it out with your life? And she's like, no, no, he was really cute and nice, and he had a European accent. And it's very... It's like, those are the main motherfuckers killing and cutting up people. Why? <laughs> I guess I don't understand love. I think that's what it is. I just don't get love. Maybe? Like, I don't know. I don't get it. Because that couple is getting married next September. No. <laughs> no. No. And I, she's head over heels, and gonna end up in a bucket one day, like, it was over like, it was I don't know, I did it. it's crazy, like, I'm sure it'll be a good honeymoon and stuff, because he's a surgeon, but it'll probably quickly dissolve into the last place she was seen alive, but it's okay though, she got a man though, she got a man, most of these bitches out here even got a man, she got, a man. She got herself a man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>